I'm Daniel Eid and welcome to Hoop Scoop on Gays TV. Tonight, the South Dragons and the Townsville Crocodiles clash at High Sense Arena in Melbourne. The South Dragons are on a two-game winning streak, both wins over the Perth Wildcats, while the Townsville Crocodiles lost their opening game of the season on the weekend to the Adelaide 36ers and are looking to bounce back tonight and get their first win. Here's the action. The game opened with a shooting display from Brad Williamson, who was hotter than Jennifer Love Hewitt in a bikini as he connected on four consecutive long bombs in the space of three minutes and 20 seconds to push the visiting Crocs out to an 18-4 lead. Williamson finished with 14 points in the first quarter as Townsville built a 30-16 lead at the first break. Townsville dominated the first half to lead 56-37 at the intermission on the back of 10 three-pointers from the Crocs. The Crocs got their lead out to 20 points early in the third quarter before the South Dragons finally turned up to play and went on a 29-11 run over the final 8 minutes and 45 seconds of the quarter to close the gap to a single field goal and set up a final quarter with more twists and turns than an Alfred Hitchcock movie. Outside, the Dragons find Mark Worthington, who sets his feet to collect on the trifecta. Tramel Darden moves to the outside, and despite having a pair of sneakers on the line, the referee was feeling generous and awards him three. The Dragons go down low as Cortez Groves finds Mark Worthington, who goes up to send home the half-baked slam. South continued to be a nuisance on defence. First, Joe Ingles picks a pocket, and then Cortez Groves becomes a thief finishing the play with a hula hoop pass to Mika Vakona for the throwdown. Spending Sundays in church pays off for Reese Carter, who hits a raindrop from deep. Vukona faces up, takes the ball to the rim and scores. Groves attempts to shake and bake and then serves Matt Burston up with a main course. As time winds down in the third, Adam Gibson props and fires from deep. The last 12 minutes was more back and forth than a Federer-Nadal rally as momentarily the South Dragons took the lead only for Townsville to edge back in front. Mark Worthington delivered for the Dragons in the final quarter on his way to 20 points and a game-high 14 rebounds. Worthington kept the Dragons breathing fire with 9 points in the final 3 minutes and 28 seconds. But Townsville had the man of the moment, Corey Williams. The playground legend erupted for 11 of his 22 points in the last quarter as he continued to find ways to the rim and finish off the big plays. Under two minutes to play, Williams scores and the Crocs lead is three. Hinder then hits the Trey Punte to extend the lead to six. With 8.1 seconds remaining, Worthington connects to bring the Dragons within one. Kelvin Robinson is fouled and forced to the line where he misses the first and makes the second to make it a two point game. The Dragons have a chance for the win but Ingles misfires as time expires. Townsville holding on to win, 91 to 89. It must be a good sign for your team that down the stretch when the Dragons took the lead, you guys were still able to hold on, come back and come out of here with a win. Oh yeah, we've got a lot of veterans on this team. Guys have been there before. You know, Corey was massive for us down that stretch. He had some really big rebounds getting on the rim when, when that, they put that full court pressure on it. So, um, Rose beat up, I'm beat up. We got two guys with some chest infections. So, it's a bit, you're exactly right, it's a big show of character and, and we're going to carry that. We got cans on Saturday night at our place, so we've got to carry that form over. Um, we'll watch a little tape tomorrow, have a little walk through, but um, all eyes forward, still very early days, but you'll never knock a win on the road in Melbourne. Yeah. So the Townsville Crocodiles are the real deal this year? Oh, of course. We're going to win it. We're going to play them in the grand final. Fantastic. No, thanks, thanks. Russell. Andrew, the Townsville Crocodiles tried to lose it and they've held on and won. Oh, I think it's a bit unfair to say they tried to lose it. I thought the Dragons did well to find their way back into the contest. And, uh, you know, unfortunately for the Dragons, they came up short at the end. But what a tremendous fight back, being 22 points down at one stage, I think. And to get it so close, a great effort. But uh, Townsville, they've bounced back. You know, they were disappointing in their first game against Adelaide and to come back like they did tonight, I think well, they'd be uh, very pleased with that and some encouraging signs. Well, you're impressed with Corey Williams tonight. He really he got the ball to the basket and he scored time and time again, especially in the fourth quarter. Well, that's his trademark. He, he, he has the ability to create his own shot and get to the rack where you look at it sometimes and you say, well, how did he do that? And he's got 
tremendous strength and uh, great speed. But one of the things he does better than most is when he's in traffic, he has the ability to finish off plays. Uh, you can get knocked and bounced around, but somehow or other seems to be able to kiss it off the glass and put it in nice and softly. So fantastic skill he had, and he was very important down the stretch. And, um, you know, also I, I think that the way that the Crocs shot the ball early on in the contest, I mean, they were unconscious out there. Everything they threw up was going in and uh, fortunately they built themselves a, a pretty big buffer because uh, they had to withstand a, a, a pretty good comeback by the Dragons. Mark Worthington and his knee, he had 20 points, he had a big fourth quarter but does it get to the point where maybe he should be rested just for a game just to give him that extra uh, time to you know rest up and get ready? No, I think only he can be the judge of that and uh, I'm sure they've got the medical staff there that'll be looking at it and uh, making a, a judgment on, on whether he can perform. I, I think from all reports that you read in the paper and, and what he said, I, I think it's one of those ones that, uh, that he's manageable and definitely the way he played tonight, you say that he did a pretty good job, but probably even of a greater concern was Russell Ellis. I mean, running around there for the, uh, the Crocs, he was literally hobbling around. I mean, you almost felt sorry for him and courageous effort because he was struggling to get up and down the floor. And I think when you look at the Crocs, one of their big weaknesses is their, their size in the middle. And uh, Russell, although he's not huge in, in height, he plays very big out in the floor and just goes to show how important he is to their program that uh, him on one leg is better than not having him at all. Now, on the NBL podcast yesterday, you ruled the Townsville Crocodiles out. <laughs> no. 24, 24 hours later, Russell Hinders just told us they're going to win the championship. Yeah. So, have you changed your thoughts after seeing them live? Well, I, I never ruled them out. I think what I did do is say that they can't win the championship, and I stand by that. I think that they can be very good, and I think they're extremely well coached, but I don't think they have the depth of some of the, uh, the, the other teams in the competition, and I, and I stand by the fact I don't think they can win the championship, but I still think they can have an outstanding season, and, and what we've seen here tonight, that... They, they have the ability to compete with the absolute very best. But when you think of a championship, you think of a, a five-game series, a best-of-three game semi-final series. It's, it's very hard for talent not to prevail. And they've got great talent, but I think there are teams that have better talent. The way we came out um, and started that game was um, as disgraceful as anything I've been a part of that, that I, I can remember, uh, really. I mean, it was an, a total embarrassment. And the, the, the effort, and I've said this, as long as the effort's there, um, as long as the desire's there and we compete, because that's been a real problem with this club, and that's a, the avenue that, you know, is my job to come here and address. And I haven't had to hop in that box, but I will tonight. Um, it was a disgrace. Um, we didn't have anybody in that first half. Um, that that did those things. Um, the, the only one close um, is, is Mika Vakona. Um, in the second half, again, you know, Mark got involved in the game. A few of them got involved. We, we made a comeback, but um, uh, intentional foul is your six is your six foul. Uh, the decision at the end of the game not to take the ball to the rim. Um, I just I, I could go on and on, but I I. Uh, uh, was really um, surprised and really, really disappointed with um, just um, where we went after a win in Perth. And uh, we laid a huge egg on that floor tonight. And uh, um, really, really, really disappointing. 